The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers? Hey, Kickers Chris, the Atari Creep. How's everyone doing today? So, as it is written in the big book of Ataris Maximus Vivictus Humongous, the box giveth, so shall the box taketh away. What you are looking at is the most recent Atari.io junk box. What is a junk box? Well, let me, uh, let me refresh your memory. A person decides to host it and gets gathers a list of individuals who would like to participate. This box is then by the host stuffed with a bunch of good stuff and sent along to the first person. Everybody who receives it will open it up, pick some items of their choosing, and then they'll replace those items with things from their collection. They'll wrap it up and send it to the next person, not telling them what was in the box when they shipped it or what they put into it. You only show what you took out of it. And then the box eventually makes its way to its host and hopefully by then it's completely filtered out and they themselves get some pretty cool stuff. So we've already done, I don't know how long ago it was because I gotta wait for three or four more people to go through this, but I already opened it, pulled out stuff. I'll put a link to that video down below if I remember to do so. And um, now this is the portion where I show because everyone has to do that at the end to show what they are going to put into the box. And as you can see, this box is still jam packed, crammed full of stuff. And I gotta try to put all this stuff into the box. But luckily for me, I get to meet the next recipient in person. So I could actually bring two boxes and let him deal with it. So without fucking going on any further, this is what I'm going to attempt to put into the box. Now, some of the stuff was gifted to me. Some of it was donated. Uh, some of it I acquired on my own. I'm the type of guy who doesn't like to hang on to things I'm not going to use. I would rather go to somebody that could actually enjoy it. So, if you see anything in here that you may have sent my way, please don't be offended. Um, I'm just paying it forward. Uh, be perfectly honest with you. So, let's start with some games. These right here, uh, because I already have them, I got doubles of each one of these games. So let me, uh, let me get this ready. So these are going to be for the Intellivision. We got Donkey Kong with manual. I don't have an extra overlay, but do you really need an overlay for uh, Donkey Kong? Tron Deadly Discs, fantastic, fun game. We got Demon Attack, which I actually have now. Well, I had. Now I'm getting rid of this one. Three copies of this. Three. I have three copies of it. Now I only have two. And Mission X, another fun shooter style game. These next cartridges, these are going to be reproductions. Um, again, I'd rather these go to someone who may need them, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I have a flash card. I have a Genesis flash card. So all these games are on there. Uh, so I honestly don't have a use for these. So, and a few of them are harder to get games. They're a little more expensive. Um, so if someone could use this in a collection and they don't mind having reproductions, uh, I, I'm happy to I'm happy to help out. Uh, so we get this Mortal Kombat compilation disc. This was pretty cool. It, it was unique. It was definitely unique. Uh, so I'm going to toss that in there. And we got a couple of Splatterhouse carts. We have a one and two, and a part three. Again, harder games to get your hands on. But I have a flash cart that has these. So if someone needs something physical to enjoy, there it is. Um, here's a little little. A little trinket. I don't even remember where the hell this thing came from. It's a, a little tiki ninja turtle. I think that's Leonardo. Yep, Leonardo. Um, shot glass. I'm, I, you know what? I'm not really into turtles, and I don't drink that often at all. So I figure if someone's a turtle fan and they like to drink, or they just like the tiki aesthetic, I do like that. I love tiki. Um, there you go. They can have that. Uh, let's see. A couple of, couple of toys. A couple of McDonald's toys. We got a, a Mario, I mean a Luigi, I'm sorry, you hit the button, he goes flying. I, I had the actual whole display for that round of toys. And it's taking up too much space, so I got rid of it. We this Mario Odyssey toy. I believe this was also from McDonald's. This was given to me from a local friend. Um, it's got that same kind of spring action that He-Man had. Uh, power punches. But in this case, the hat goes flying. I guess it's got something to do with Mario Odyssey, the game. Never played it because I'm too poor and dumb. 
to play modern consoles. So there you are. That's going to go in there. Uh, more toys. More toys. I got an alien egg, but more importantly, what's inside the egg is a sack of slime. But more importantly, what's in the sack of slime is a little Mega Constructs Xenomorph. Um, I already have this one. I actually have a couple of them. Um, and I have not taken it out of the sack. Um, you could tell which one it is by the color of the slime. And of course, if you pinch it, you can see the color of the actual figure itself. But uh, this is one of those Mega Constructs aliens. I'm not going to tell you what color the alien itself is, but I figure if someone could really get down with this, you know what, pulling the parts out of the slime and then rinsing them off and putting it together, it's actually quite fun. So I, I hope someone gets something out of that. Anyway, I got enough of that laying around the house. Uh, speaking of toys, a couple of my own work I got to put in there. I got some leftover. This one's a magnet. I made this in 2018, actually. I was just cleaning up my shop because I'm making more stuff and um, found this stuff. So I said, you know, I'm going to pass it forward. I like I like sharing my, my work. But it is Friday the 13th today, too, as a matter of fact. So I don't know if I said that in the intro. And then we got ourselves a death droid. Now, this one's interesting because I wanted to experiment with glow-in-the-dark pigment. Not realizing, uh, dummy, you should probably use clear, <laughs> clear resin or transparent. This is a solid white resin. Now, he will glow slightly, his body. It's almost like his heart's glowing. So, there you go. It's a half skull head. I know you can't tell from the baggie. Uh, half skull head. And an R2 body. And, yeah, I really had fun making these ones. These ones are great. They sold really well really well i should probably mold it back up and see if i can't get a few more going i got a couple of things i think i got into i got this from a like a blind bag thing if i recall correctly it was like ten dollar sci-fi geek bag i don't know but it's a little trinket from the walking dead i'm not into the walking dead after like the fourth season when it started to become a more soap opera than than zombie flick um i kind of stopped watching it but i have no idea what this pennant's significance is but if, they, if you're a fan of that, it's all you. Galaxy Quest. It's a patch. You're going to be part of the team, I guess. I don't know. Never got into Galaxy Quest either. Isn't Sigourney Weaver in that? I'll put this here next to the alien then. God, that, that shit is so cute. She's so cute. This next item. Yo, yeah, we're still going, guys. We're still going. The next item is something that I actually started in an Atari.io junk box. Probably like two or three boxes ago. Um, if you remember correctly, uh, Mario Odyssey Serial. Or maybe it was Switch cereal. I don't remember. It was a Nintendo cereal. I had these little uh, RFID sticker amiibos that you could use with Mario Odyssey. Uh, I keep throwing this in boxes and somehow it keeps coming back to me. Guess what? It's going back in the box. So if anyone needs a cheap amiibo, there you go. This is pretty neat. I'm not into Pogs. They were a little bit after my time. I wonder if this wasn't a cereal prize. It's packaged as such. Um, but these are Mega Man Nintendo Power Pogs. Oh, okay. You know what? Maybe, maybe it came in the magazine. I don't know. You tell me down below if you recognize these. I'm going to put them in the box as well. Not in the comic books, but somehow I got an X-Men comic book. Actually, I think this came in the package that my buddy Ordo Necro sent. Um, that's where these repro carts came from. Uh, actually, I think the Pogs did too. Huh. Um, I actually just adorned my jean jacket with all the patches and buttons he sent. And I got a whole bunch of buttons from a whole bunch of you folk that I have on the code too. And if you have a button for your channel or whatever, send a few my way. I'll put it on my jacket and I'll advertise for you or whatever. But I don't, I'm not into comic books, nor am I into X-Men. I couldn't even tell you when this was. I might all have my glasses. So there you go. If that's a, an issue you've been looking for, well, guess what? You got it. It's all yours. It's all yours. I'm going to toss this in there. I may have to take it out of the box and promise to ship the box to somebody. I've done that in the past. It was Gremlins on the 5200. I packaged the cartridge with a note saying, I have the box and manual. Whoever picks this out, get a hold of me privately, and I'll ship it to you safely. Uh, one, I didn't want the box crushed in the I.O. box. And two, um, it just didn't fucking fit. So uh, I'll probably do that with this as well. I had fun with it for... You know, what it was, I don't know. It's just, it's not my vibe, and I'm not a shelf collector kind of guy, except for like Atari and maybe even in television now. But so I'm going to try to get that in there. Uh, two more things. Well, three more things. We we're talking about buttons. Well, I got a couple of Atari Creep buttons here. We got the Atari Creep there, and then, of course, a green Creeper reel, which is rad. I love that. My buddy Ryan of uh, Deep Space Toys 
put those together for me. So somebody's going to get their hands on a couple of those for free. Um, oh, they're in my pocket. Got a whole bunch of mus muscle. These are actual vintage muscle. Uh, none of them are the skin color. I collect those ones mainly. And the ones that come in lots that are, you know, colorful. I try to trade off and give away or whatever. So I'm going to throw a whole bunch of those in there for people who want to reminisce about that. Of course, the box is going to be adorned with a Creep It Real sticker. And last but not least... Bam! I'm going to throw in a Wii. Not only is it a Wii, but it's a modded Wii. It has um, pretty much all the Atari consoles. Uh, it has a MAME. Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. We're doing elevator action right now, and I can't seem to get a MAME ROM to work. Nah, I'm just going to put this in. I'm going to get... No, forget about it. Whoever gets this... Well, this might be too late now. Because <laughs> this won't be seen until after everyone's... Um, everyone's opened up their deal. Um... This has the games on it, so doesn't the SD card in here. Very important that you don't lose these things. I'm going to put it in its own baggie. And, uh, yeah, uh, this was given to me years ago by Mr. Paku Paku. And it has served me well. Uh, I have all these games on other platforms now, so I no longer need this. I had to think long and hard about this one. Um, but I'm going to pay that forward to anyone who could use it. Uh, since my laptop has all this stuff in it. Uh, they're not going to get anything else besides the console, but I know for a fact it still works. It still works. I fired it up and connected it to, we have an actual Wii connected to the TV still next to the Wii U. And uh, yeah, so I know it works. I swapped out the cords real quick. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? No. You know what? No, that's it. That's, that's it. That's all she wrote. So that's everything I'm going to try to cram into this box. Um... I don't think it's going to happen, but I'll make it happen one way or the other. And if I can't get it in there, then, you know, I'll put a correction at the end of this video. But either way, guys, thank you always so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. These these I.O. boxes are such a such a good time. I really, I, I love doing stuff like this, especially if I have the means. And this time I had the means. Actually, I had to put some stuff away that I was going to throw in there, so... It is what it is, guys. Go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to The Creep is positive. I hope you're doing well. I have no idea when this is going to get uploaded. Again, the box has to make its way back to the host. And um, yeah, that's all there is to it. So I hope you're doing well. And until next time, take care. Creep it real. And bye bye I got it all in. All I can say is thank God I'm hand delivering this. I don't think this would make it through shipping. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Good luck. And that makes it official.